Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. These questions are all about puberty for male anatomy. First question. I'm about to be 15, and neither my penis nor testicles have grown. Okay, that's okay. So just know that sometimes those small changes at first aren't totally noticeable to you, and that's okay. But we usually expect puberty, testicle enlargement's gonna be the first sign of puberty for those with male anatomy, but we usually expect that testicle enlargement somewhere around the, on average, age of 10 or 11 or so nothing to worry about. You're probably what we would call a late bloomer, but that's okay. I would just talk to your doctor about it so you can monitor things and make sure everything ultimately goes in the right direction. But again, there are plenty of people who start their puberty a little bit later, and that's okay. Question number two. Why do I have pubes even though I haven't hit puberty? That is a great question because so the way we define puberty is kind of a big old, it's more than just the breast development or penis enlargement. I mean, there, there are so many other things that go along with puberty. So you have figured out that there is kind of a collection of things that go into puberty, including a couple of different totally separate signaling pathways. And so the hormones that guide testicle enlargement or breast development um, are different than the pubic hair hormones. And those same hormones also control body odor, so you might notice body odor and pubic hair at different times, um, but they usually happen around the same time. But sometimes they can be a little bit off, and so it sounds like you have started the, what we call adrenarche, which is the development of pubic hair and body odor and acne. Um, that can start a little bit sooner. Now, if you're really young, I doubt you are, but if, so there's something called premature adrenarche, which is something under nine for uh, those with male anatomy. If you've noticed any signs of puberty under the age of eight or nine, you should talk to your doctor, but I don't think this is you. Um, regardless, it's quite possible to get body odor, acne, pubic hair before you notice any growth in other body parts, and so that's okay. Um, you noticed, and we kind of call a bunch of things puberty. Sometimes things don't totally sync up, and that's okay. Question number three. I'm 14 and all of my friends are bigger than me. I've also tried masturbation and nothing comes out. I'm worried that I won't be able to produce it later on and have kids. Do I have a production problem? No, no you don't. So what it sounds like is that you haven't quite had your growth spurt yet. And usually we see semen, or ejaculate production, a little bit later than the growth spurt. And that's okay. So you probably haven't hit your growth spurt yet, which means you probably haven't had semen production yet. I would expect it around the time of your growth spurt, but you're fine. You're normal. If you've had your growth spurt and you're a year or two down the road and you still haven't noticed semen production, then you can talk to your doctor. But for now, I wouldn't be concerned. All right. Question number four. I'm a 16 year old male going through puberty and I had a question regarding my nipples. Why are my nipples long and puffy? Okay, so it is possible to have some breast tissue development, it's called gynecomastia, during puberty for those with male anatomy. It's absolutely normal. Like 50% of males get it. It's super common. We just don't talk about it. But having a little extra tissue or development under your nipple, absolutely common, absolutely normal, nothing to worry about. It should go away within a year or so. If it's hanging on for longer than a few years, talk to your doctor, but to have some kind of puffier nipples and a little bit of extra tissue there, totally normal. All right, and question number five, how do I know if I've finished puberty? Hmm. All right, so for males, that's going to be when you have all of your adult pubic hair, your testicles have completed their growth, 
and your penis has completed its enlargement. Now, things that aren't technically included in the medical definition of puberty are facial hair. So facial hair can continue on into your 20s. Um, it's not necessarily a part of puberty. The start of it is, but developing a full beard is not a part of puberty. Um, voice dropping, voice cracking can happen well after puberty, sorry, and the voice drop can take a little while after puberty as well. So again, um, the growth spurt, and then testicle enlargement, penis enlargement, and then full pubic hair. That's going to be pubic hair on your inner thighs and then all around the base of your testicles and penis. And then it's going to be tough for you to figure out ultimately when your penis has finished growing and your testicles, but um, a doctor can help with determining if your testicles have completely grown. Um, for a penis, a lot of people want to know how do they know if their penis is done growing. Look for that hair on your inner thighs and that might be a sign that puberty's getting close to being done. Everyone comes in different shapes and sizes, so try not to be self-conscious about the size of your penis. Size doesn't matter. If you're wondering about the size of your penis, you can always ask your dad. It's usually genetic how big your penis is going to be. So that'll do it for this round of male puberty questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.